Hola amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, Christy Salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh and Yang Shumash. Today we're back with the vintage Hoovermatic. Take the lid off. Take the lid off. Okay, let's take out all the fixings. Okay, so it has been a good couple of months since I've taken a look at this and the issue we had was leaking underneath but what I want to do today is sort out this mess which is this it looks absolutely awful and it's leaking so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the back off of it and take a look inside. So let me get the back off first. Okay, so I've got the back off here. <clears throat> uh, you can see the wash pulleys. This is for the drain, that looks okay. That doesn't look like it's leaking there, so I have a feeling it's leaking from up there. Hmm. How do I get that screw? Um, let's take this off and have a look. Okay, so I think I found the issue of why it's leaking. This horrible seal needs to come off. And as you can see, the inside of that is not very good. That's what that looks like. This needs a complete clean-up because it's absolutely manky. That's the pressure ball in there, but yeah, that needs, that really needs cleaning out. I'm going to put this into um, Silipang Descaler to descale it. Yeah. Right, let me get a plastic container for that. Okay, kettle's just boiled. Let's put hot water into this jug. Let's sprinkle on the Silipang citric acid. And get a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir. Okay, I'm going to leave that do its thing. Uh, back to this. I'm going to get my little vacuum and vacuum out all the crap that's in there. I've got a new seal for it that I can get rid of all this gunky rubbish because that looks awful and scrape all that off. As you can see there, there's a seal on there. See that? That's where it goes in. So that gasket is knackered. Oh, there we go, I can pull it out. Oh. And the pipe snapped in half dum dum. Well that's great. Oh geez, look. No wonder it was leaking. Knackered. Knackered pipes. Great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Let me take this little gasket off because I need to make a replica with my gasket maker. Hang on. Okay, so I've taken everything off this. That's going to need descaling as well. I've taken everything off here, and these are the pipes. It's not a problem because I can replace those pipes <clears throat> with more modern ones. So that's not. A major issue so that makes cleaning up this a heck of a lot easier but i'll still need to clean up this bit and i'll need to still need to clean up this because yeah i'm gonna make a new gasket from some gasket maker that i have and i'm gonna put some new jubilee clips on i might use them i don't know i'll see 
But anyway, let's get it clean. Okay, so I've cleaned up that area. That's all looking good. I have also, as you can see, cleaned up the taps. So when I put them back on, they're gonna look <clears throat> a heck of a lot better than what they did before. The underneath tray part of this, I have soaking to try and get as much of the lime skill off. I will continue with some of this bits to try and get them out. Don't know how I will succeed, but I will certainly keep trying, but they definitely look a lot better than what they were. So next part. Okay, so I've replaced one of the pipes here with this flexible hose, which is perfect for this job because you can change the diameter of it like I did for that one. So that is now on nice and tight. It'll go past up there and flexible enough to go up to there. And if so, I can put it to something to, to tie it on so it doesn't touch anything. But that is that one done. Next, that is the repair that I did in the last video, but the hose is completely knackered. So I need to undo my repair and take that off and then put the other flexible hose that I have uh, onto that one to come up for the other, the other side up there. So one down, one to go. Okay, so it's on. It's a complete bod job without having, to, having a new pump. So if you've got a new pump um, <clears throat> and a new one of them, fine, yay. So I've used these flexible hoses anyway. They are all connected up to this. So that needs to go on top of there. I got new screws. I got gaskets all cut out. So let me get this back together okay it's put together pipes are in position this is on i know these screws aren't very um nice but the other ones were knackered and um the silver ones just wouldn't play ball so we've got that done is in position, ready to go down. It moves a lot easier now as well. It's been cleaned the spring. So it moves a lot better. I think we need to give it a test. Let's go. Okay, let's get it filled up. Right, trying to get as least amount of drops on the floor so I can really see if there's any leaks. Okay, let's get this thing heated. Okay, let's switch the heater on. Heat on. Okay, I can hear the heater. Let's wait for it to get the temp. Okay, so I put the detergent in, I've put a lime scale tablet in, I've put in other stuff. I'm doing white towels, so I want it nice and hot. The other thing I've got is one of these little Ricketts Cran Brew that I was given by a friend. So it says on the back, wrap blue in cloth, stir while squeezing the blue in the last rinsing water. Dip articles separately for a short time. Keep them moving. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a little grater here. I'm gonna unwrap this. Look at that. Don't wanna get any of my fingers. And I'm going to grate.
a little bit in, wrap it back up. Let's give it a mix up. back on let's get my towels nice and blue okay let's give it another stir that's hot enough okay let's add the towel We're going to have a lot of splashing around here, obviously, because of it. Okay, let's let them wash and uh, leave you to enjoy it.
Okay, it's had two, two turns. Let's fish out the towels. Ow!
Now, this is where it's the big test for me <clears throat> that the pump worked. Let's pray. is not coming up from the pump. So I wonder if the pump is actually turning should be coming out now. Right, I'm going to have to turn you off a second and take the back off again and have a look and see what's going on. Okay, let's try again. That hose got loose and stretched when it was hot. Touched against that, made a little split. That did the same, got a bit loose, touched up against the pulley, caused a bit of friction, made it split. So I'm gonna try it again, but I'm not gonna use these flexible hoses. I'm just gonna have to use ordinary hoses to the right length, but that's a, such a shame because it works really, really well now. There's no leak from down there just the pipes on both of them it's a bugger gutted anyway never mind every day's school day and i will try oops try it again tomorrow so guys i'm going to end the video here i'm going to take the towels out and uh you know, have to put them in the big washing machine but <clears throat> at least i know now that i'm i can't use these flexible hoses because they just when they get warm they just expand and they're gonna to touch against the pulleys and stuff, which is going to wear them out. Unfortunately, that's sad. I'm gutted over that because it works fine. Apart from that. Hmm. Oh, that's such a shame. Because this all works fine. Up here is all fine. It's just that it's gotten loose and it's touching stuff and look, it's just, it's sprung a leak. So I can't do that. I'm gonna to have to uh, drain it out, unfortunately. So there we go. That's the end of the video, unfortunately. I will fix it again. 
using different hoses um, and this time we will try it again so fail for today but not always a fail always learn something every day is a school day so anyway guys i'll see you for the next episode until then bye y'all <laughs>